Today, for me, is a very exciting day because Caboodle and the National Book Tokens have just launched their Hidden Books game for 2022. If you haven't heard of this, don't worry, I'm gonna explain. Basically, this is a game where it gives you this like image and I think there are 20 books like hidden within the image. So there'll be little clues that lead you to book titles. You have to try and crack all of the clues and work out what the books are. And someone tweeted me saying they would love to see me do a video Video on this and I can't believe I didn't think of that because I was going to sit down and do this and not film it and so I thought here we are. I will say that obviously this will therefore have spoilers so if you want to attempt the caboodle challenge yourself first I will leave the link down below but I thought I would share with you my attempt at the hidden books game and you can play along with me I think that'll be fun. Oh lord where do we even begin so basically you can like kind of hover over oh parts of the picture <laughs> and the things that you hover over that uh glow are the clues let's start with this one gone with the wind right that's gone with the wind and then you guess in here gone with the wind guess oh that's not it damn book title with the word ladder in it damn i'm stumped on the first one <laughs> this isn't a good way to start okay um what about her <laughs> okay oh my god um Song of Achilles, because there's musical notes coming from her Achilles heel, um, and she actually has the bow and arrow from the cover of the book on her dress. Let's give that a go. Oh, nearly. Try again. What did I do wrong? Oh, the Song of Achilles? Yes. Okay, we have one. One out of 20. Let's see. You really must read this book. And then the books will say, read me. What does it mean? What does it mean? <laughs> it's trying to encourage you to read. It's urging you to the urge. There's a book called The Urge. The Book of Form and Emptiness. Why would it be that? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna come back to that one too. Oh, the desk and with the dog. Oh, just the desk. Okay, just the uh, the yellow wallpaper. Let's try that. I mean, that's a really old book. I, I don't know if it will be that, but let's see. Oh. Okay. That was the yellow wallpaper. Okay, cool. So it was like peeling off. Got it. Oh, this poster. That's Dune, right? That's that's from Dune. I may have hated that book, but at least I can get a... Yes, okay, cool. That was a good one. Okay, right. The snowman, surely? Is this one just the snowman? I'm gonna try it. Some of these are more straightforward than others, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that was the snowman. We got four out of 20 so far. Um, The cat in the hat? The cat in... The hat, surely. Yes. Okay, this is a win. Ooh, what's this one here? That book. Us. Oh, what's that David Nichols book? It's called Us, right? Surely it's not that. No, it isn't. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Okay. Um, it's the last page. The Last of Us. Oh, it ends with us. It, the book ends with, yeah, it ends with us because the book ends with the word us. This has got to be right. Yeah. Okay, cool. That was like one of the biggest books of the year. Oh, that little... Surely that's a little life. Surely it's the little book, right? Yes. Okay, cool. This dog. Hmm. Asni. Asni. What language is that? And it's like, uh, what breed? Is that a spaniel? It looks kind of like a spaniel. Hmm. Surely we're allowed to Google what word, what language Asni is from, right? Because that's the clue there. Let's see. Um, Asni could mean a donkey or an ass from old French. Hmm. I was thinking that was like a little accent on top of the A. Is that a thing? Can I? Asni, Norwegian. Norwegian wood? Norwegian woof? <laughs> I have to admit, I can never spell the word Norwegian myself. I get it wrong every single time. Okay, that's, it's not Norwegian wood. Did I spell Norwegian right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Norway. Norway dog. He's like a cashier. He's making a sale. There's also a book of a car and a cow right in front of him. I don't know. I really don't know. Cocker. Spaniel. Is that even the breed? I feel like the breed could be important. Green collar. Asni. Is there an author whose name is Asni? Okay, I'm gonna park that one. Park it like a car because I don't know what that is. Ah, okay, what are you? I think that's, I know why the caged bird, I, I know why the caged bird sings. If it's not that, <laughs> it should be. A bit of Maya Angelou. I know why the caged bird sings, let's see. 
Yes, okay. The serotonin boost I get when I get one right is <laughs> unmatched. Oh, the little playing card. Ace of Spades, right? Um, I haven't read that book, but surely it's... Yeah, okay, cool. This woman on the stairs. Hmm. Eve. Eve. My first thought is like killing Eve, but obviously that's a TV show. Evening. She's got like suns on her dress. Um, she's Eve. Like Adam and Eve? I'm wondering if that bow that she's wearing has something to do with it. Like I feel like this outfit is important. I'm zooming in. Um, sun and stripes, sunny weather, Eve. <laughs> Morning and evening. Yeah. A sunny evening. <laughs> it's. I feel like it's the kind of thing we have to say what you see, and that's how you crack it. But this is. Uh, this is cracking me. Oh, maybe it's. Could it be the first woman? Like Eva's the first. Yes. Yes. Oh, that book's on my TBR. Okay. Oh, I'm bu that that was a real win. That one. Is that a doorstop with a heart? <laughs> is that a heart stopper? Is it? I think it is. Let's try that. Let's take that one for a spin. Yes. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, we've got that one. Still really stumped on this. Hmm, big books this year. What's it trying to do? It's trying to persuade you to read. It's trying to encourage persuasion. <laughs> it's persuasion, right? I'm gonna try it. It's... Yes. Ah. Oh. What a win. Okay, who else? This freaking dog. Oh, this apple. Apple slice? The core? That feels like a book name. Let's try that. We're gonna try apple first. Nope, that's not it. Uh, the core? Nope. The core of the issue? <laughs> I, I don't know if a book exists with that title, but I feel like there should be one. The slice? Just the word slice, maybe? The peel? Peel? I'm just trying- I'm literally just trying any words now. Um, okay. I don't know. I really don't know what that could be. Apple on a plate? <laughs> Something tells me that isn't the most like catchy book title ever. How annoying. Oh, and that's a different clue. The two, two live, two books with the word life next to each other. Two lives? Is that a book? Many lives? Double, double life perhaps? Double, double life. Nope. There's also, there's a third book, so it could be three lives. Nope. Hmm. It's so annoying when you get stumped. Um, right, what's this man doing over here? He is, he's wearing tie-dye. Is tie-dye the name of a book? I feel like <laughs> with the ones I've got right, they were quite well-known books. Okay, it's not tie-dye. Um, okay, think, think. Just anything would be good. He's got two things that are dyed. Two tie-dyed, two dyed, two dye, two, two dye. Oh, to die? Is that a... No. <laughs> the thing is, every time you think of something that makes like a little bit of sense, you kind of get your hopes up. I'm sure some of you are screaming this at me right now. I feel like it's going to be obvious because it's so distinctive. I wonder if the converse he's wearing have anything to do with it. <sighs> tie dyed. Tie dyed twice. Died twice. He's died... Oh, twice died? Died twice. D I'm going to try died twice. That's not it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What else is there? Done that one. Oh. Oh no, I've done her, but I didn't do this. Iotopia. Iotopia. And then it's like a... Is it like the secret library? The secret library. No. Midnight library? Midnight library. No, it's not having that. I reckon I can Google Iotopia. That's... That sounds like Greek. And it's kind of in like a Greek <laughs> font. Iotopia translation? Always standing up for what is right. Oddly, a lifelong passion. I don't think I'm typing that right. Maybe if I take a picture of it and put it into translate, then it might get it. Oh, history, history. Okay, well that makes sense because like the other sections have like crime, nature writing, travel, fiction, and this one is history. So it's history writing. So maybe like a historical book, but there's a private section, private history. Private history. Let's try it. See? <gasps> is it this? Oh my god, if it's the secret history. <gasps> yes, it is. It is. It is. Okay, the secret history. Yes! That's a win. Oh my god. Mmm, what is this? Albania, Australia, Argentina, another Austria. So maybe like another country that starts with A? Azerbaijan? 
<laughs> that classic novel, Azerbaijan. Albania, Australia, Argentina, another, another A word? <laughs> Is that a thing? The A word starts with A. A country? <laughs> hmm. Damn. You guys are gonna have to comment if you have got the ones that I haven't got. I've got 13 out of 20. I don't, have we looked at all 20 yet? I feel like we haven't. There's these books too. What are these? Fleet, Thames, Tyburn, Ephra, Wandle. Rivers, right? Five rivers. Five rivers? <laughs> Incorrect. What about just rivers? Nope. Where the Crawdads Sing is such a rogue guess <laughs> from those. What do these rivers have in common? I, li I have no idea. A river dies of thirst? That's like a book of poetry that I read. <laughs> I really think it's a bit niche to be in here. Yeah, that was a long shot. Five rivers. The rivers. Did I try the rivers? The river? Nope. Not happening. I'm getting stuck now. It was going incredibly well. Right, so we have this one with like the two lives. Life and life. Still nothing. This woman. I can't believe that's not Gone With The Wind. That is the perfect clue for Gone With The Wind. I don't even know what to say with this one. She looks a bit like Kate Bush. <laughs> oh, what if it's Wuthering Heights? <gasps> She's up high. Oh my God. If this is Wuthering Heights, I swear to... Wow, that should be Gone With The Wind. Sorry. Yeah, look, it's Kate Bush in Wuthering Heights. Oh my God. That's actually really clever. Fair play to whoever designed that. <laughs> this apple, apple peel, could be the appeal. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it was the appeal. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got 15 out of 20. Got that one, got that one, got that one. So we need the rivers, the dog, and the countries. That's three. What else haven't I got? Am I being stupid? That's four. And then what's the fifth one that I don't have? Oh, and this stupid man in his tie-dye. What could this be? He's, he's twice dyed. I feel like it's something to do with like dying. Oh my God, the man, the man who died twice by um, Richard Osman. Hell yeah. I love the little clap I do every time. Like I'm just clapping for myself over here. Good job, Jack. 16 out of 20. I'm really stumped on this. When I Googled Asni, like what's on his collar, it was an author who came up. So maybe I should search like her book titles. The bookseller of Kabul. Oh my God, he's a bookseller. <gasps> Stop. Stop this nonsense. I give up. I actually retire. I would never have got that. Also, this book is from 2002. Have you, I've never even heard of that book. Well, okay, look, I feel like we, we used the resources we were given, like, they gave us the, her name on the collar, so obviously you're supposed to search her up. Okay, so I'm still in the same spot editing the video, but while I was editing it, I realized a few more clues that were right there. So, it's an Afghan hound. That's the breed of the dog. I knew the breed was important, I just didn't... I, I couldn't work it out, I didn't know, but it was an Afghan hound. And what is the capital of Afghanistan? Kabul. And what is on the books in front of the dog? A book with a car and a book with a bull, Kabul. It was right there, it was right in front of me. He's a bookseller of Kabul, the bookseller of Kabul. Oh, man. It's quite clever, but I didn't, I had never heard of that book to be fair. So anyway, I just thought I would share that. <laughs> what other, what does this mean? Another country? That was, that was correct? What the hell is another country? Is that a book? Oh my God, it's by James Baldwin, yeah. Wow, okay, I'll take it. That was a good guess. <laughs> okay, I've got 18 out of 20. This river one, I, I just, I don't know. Is there an author with, this, with the name River? Like Joan Rivers? What's Joan Rivers book called? Joan Rivers books, let's see. It's not gonna be this, Diary of a Mad Diva. And she had one called Jewelry, no. Okay, Francine Rivers. She wrote a book called Redeeming Love. Should we try that? No, nope, it's not that, okay. Did I try just the word rivers? Yeah, yeah, okay. I felt like I'd cracked the code by identifying that they were all rivers and I was just hoping that would be enough. Are they alphabetized? There's five of them. <laughs> I don't know, I really don't know. The problem is I can't even remember which ones I don't have. That's <laughs> really causing me some problems. This one, the two lives. Okay, look, I'm calling it a day. I've managed to get 18 out of 20 so far. Let me know uh, what you think the others are in the comment section down below and we can work it out together. I probably will like keep trying on my own before I 
look at the comment section, but let's see what we can do. Um, and let me know what score you got. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.